Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Let's let's go with that for a minute. We've got three signals on each one. And then over here, I'll put a signal coming into that station and one coming out of the station. And I will do the same each side of that crossover point there. And then over here, I got one there and one there. And then I've got uh, one there. And then we got one coming in here. One going out there. And then one coming in there. And then we've got one coming in this side, on the right-hand side. Stops there. One there, and one there. Is that right? It's probably not right at all. It's probably completely wrong. We should have lots of them in between each of these stations, but I'm not going to do that just for a minute. That's one bit that we're going to leave. So I'll do a double one here. Into and out of the stations. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll just do it like that. A nice, simple um, country station like that. We will simply do just two of them like this somewhere nearby. I'll do the same up over here like that. That's probably not a very good idea doing it quite like that. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying on this. And let's do it that side of the road and that side of the road. Just because I think it's a good idea. And then this one here. Right hand side. I want to do it this side of the crossover and that side of the crossover. And then we can go on round on to the next station. We've got a crossover point here. And then I've got a crossover point there. I can't go and really put anything, so I'm not going to put anything on that side. This one, I'll put one there, and I will put one there. Like that. It's going to block the road, that one is, but I don't really mind. So Nuremberg has got one dead end bit on here. Whether or not that's going to end up being a good thing, I don't really know at the moment. We will wait and see. We will put that one there as a signal, and then I've got a... I've already got a signal here. Coming down on the right-hand side. It is on the correct side, though, which is good. And then here, I'm going to want one on the right-hand side, on the right-hand side, and then... That's where it gets confusing. I don't really know how I should signal that correctly. I have no idea how I should go about signaling that. So what I'm thinking is trains coming into that bit stop, which would be this one, this one. Although trains can actually come into it from any one of these four stations. Because they can, although I don't want them to do that, do I? I'm not going to allow them to be able to do that. They can only go from the other way. So actually that one and that one are pointless. They're, they're, they're not going to exist. We're just going to make sure that it doesn't actually need that. Now we come over here and we've got... Come up on the right-hand side. We want to put a signal back down here. And then coming up on the right-hand side, I want to put a signal here. Same on there. I've got a signal... On that right-hand side, which is coming there. That's all I'm going to need. One there and one coming up there to stop. Either way, whichever one gets there first. And then this one coming up on the right-hand side on here stops any other traffic as well. I think. I think that's all I need on there. And then I can do the same over on this bit over here. So we go up to here. That one goes to there. There's nothing extra on here. So we're coming up on the right-hand side there. Which means that we put a signal there like that. And this one, we're coming up on the right-hand side over there. So we stop that one. Like that. And then we move on over this way. So we've got two signals in here at the moment, which are both on the right-hand side, which is good. And then we come into here, we've got 
one. Uh, actually, well, I've already got the one on the right-hand side up there, so I don't actually need anything more. So we'll do the same as what I did previously. We'll put them both on the right-hand side. I know we've got the station down here. I could put them down here on a station. So put one there, and we will put one there so that they are out on the right-hand side, which will allow traffic to flow. And we've got these bits coming in through here. And then coming in here... Now, I've got a signal there. I'll get rid of that one a minute. And now I've got a crossover point there. This one kind of seems a bit obsolete now. But I can put there. I've got one here on the right hand side. That, uh, that crossover point there doesn't actually do anything, does it? Technically, it doesn't do anything. I bring this one up here. That one needs to signal there because it's coming on the right hand side. And then that one needs to signal there, so it's stopping traffic coming through. And you're coming up here, so you need to stop traffic there. And that's the only places that we actually need to stop the traffic. I mean, I don't want these bits linked up, so we kind of need to have those as a separate block. So I still also want to put signal coming that way. So it has that as a separate block. I think that's how it works. Or do I need to have one there? I don't think I should have a signal there. I think that was the wrong point to put it. But So I'm, I'm going to leave that for a minute. And then we can go over here. We've got in here. And then coming down there. And coming in there. And we need to do that on each of these three points. We want one here and then those two coming into it like that. So we've got... So long as we keep the one-way track, we'll be all right. I'm, I'm so, I, I think that I can do this if I keep one-way track. Always trains are going to be traveling on the right-hand side. There. So they're always traveling on the right-hand side. We've got the little loop that we want to do over here. So we're just going to do a nice, easy couple of signals at each of these stations for a minute. I'm going to do anything more than that so that what we're essentially trying to do is just hurry up and get some signaling done so that then we can start putting some trains in and getting them going out across the map. And if we've done this correctly... Any train should be able to go to any point anywhere on this map. If I've done this correctly. I may not have done. Now, do I want... To, I don't want to actually stop any trains inside that bit in there. So, really, what I'm going to want to do... If I put that there... I kind of need to bring a section here just to like keep them away from there and do the same over here i guess like that i don't really know now i'm i'm, I'm get this this is pure guesswork on that bit uh those are done we've done that loop out round there we've got uh, another little bit that we want to do over this side so we want to put a signal here uh one there and one down there and then we want to go over this side now this is another complicated track so we want to put Wait, what? Apparently I'm not allowed to put signals in here. How am I supposed to do this if I can't put any signals in there? And put one all the way up there. That's that's the outside edge of where the signal is. Oh, I know why. It's because I brought the end of this track right up to there. I haven't allowed for placement of any signals in here. Now, this station is actually really big. I wonder if I can do this by modifying the station. If we get rid of that a second, a Frankfurt passenger station configure. Could I do this by removing... Const oh, construction locked. Right, no, I can't do that by removing anything at all. Uh, can I redo this bit down here, maybe? That might take a bit of... I, I might be able to. I can definitely go and build this track back exactly as it was previously. That we won't have any problem. If I can remove a few of these bits first. Because all I really want to do... I don't want to get rid of that. 
get rid of that. There. That's what I want to get rid of. Right. I want to bring that up a little bit. I don't want to bring the track where I... Because I start. I did originally start the track from that point there. I don't want to do that. Now what I want to do is I want to bring it from here. And I bring you over like that. But I don't want to bring it all the way up into the station. If I can bring it to about that point and still have the double cross that we had, that would be a lot better. Right, that's... I uh, go from this point here because that's that's where our crossover starts from, and then I take it up to here. I need to get it to the same point that we've got the crossover up here. It goes up too far. That one there, like that. They're slightly apart on here, but if I bring this one from up that point. Now, this is the big question, is, is this going to allow me... Yes! It is going to let me at least do that one. Final one here, is it going to allow us to do this one up to here, or is it not... Oh! Aha! Excellent! Right, we've got those in there. They do actually connect across. They look a little bit sort of twisted but this i don't care i don't care that is fine because that has now given me just enough room to pop a couple of signals in there like that on the right hand side we've got them on the right hand side already up there don't think i need any more signals in here i don't think i need to go putting signals in facing in that direction i don't think that is beneficial i mean i could be wrong on this this is a dead end one so it, it's kind of like it, it is a little bit different to the others I think maybe I do need to put them in going into it because it's a dead end one. I'm not sure. Um, but if I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to also want to be doing it coming out of this end as well. And they kind of need to do it like that so that they, they both go in. They can both go in and both come out, I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm just very confused on that one. That, that one has just left me feeling very, very confused. Uh, you over this way are a through road, so we're going to put you like that. And we'll treat you like a through road. And then we come over to here. I've already got some signals down on this bit. I need to be able to put an extra signal or two. Uh, that one is going to signal coming out. That one's going to be a signal coming out. And then that is going to be... I've already got a signal coming in on both of those. So we don't want any more there. And we can go on to Sin Sins... Is it Sinsheim? Might be Sinsheim, I'm not sure. Uh, we just want to do a straight... Double signal on each of those. I've already done that one. I've done that bit over there. I think we've now gone round and we've got some basic signal. It looks like, yes, I've got basic signals all the way through over here. The only bit I'm wondering about is down here. Have I done that right or not? Hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. I've spent long enough working on this. We've now got a massive, great big train network going right the way around Germany, and we've got some signals. We need a lot more signals in order for this to be able to work properly, but those are, like, minor details. We will get to them, and if I have done my calculations correctly, we're going to be able to get absolutely everywhere... Ooh, look at the new passenger terminus. That looks very nice. Um, if I have done this correctly, we're going to be able to get everywhere on the map from any point. So all I need to do is build one train spot thingy majiggy train uh, depot. That's the one. I'm, that's the word I'm looking for. Train depot. Uh, I just need one single solitary train depot. So we're going to dump that one down there. We're going to go to tracks in here. And we're going to have a track coming out of that depot. And it's going to come out on the right-hand side over to there. And it's also going to come out on the right-hand side over to there as well. And we're going to signal this one correctly. So that is on the right hand side coming out and that is on the uh that's that's coming out coming that way that's coming out going that way 
you are going to signal here and here and this one is going to signal here and it doesn't need to go the other way because it doesn't have anything coming across it. I will go and put a pair of signals down over there. Right. That'll do. I don't think we need to have anything else. There, right, access to local public transit. Despite declining passenger figures and rising deficits, even less used routes are still supposed to remain in service. This won't happen without generous loans. Increase access to local public transit of towns to a total value of 1,500. Right, so I have gone round and I have put down a train network with signals. You can see that, like, as we've gone through the missions, it's gotten increasingly more complicated. I'm hoping that that was, like, the bulk of this particular mission. Uh, we've gone through and we've done all of those different bits. And that should help to make things a little bit easier for us to do the rest of the stuff. There's all in there. Right, steam locomotives, we have none. Electric, we've got the Series 1042. Diesel in here, we've got the BRV100 and the BR218. Wagons, we've got the bi-level car right there. And the Einheitswagen 2 in there that one is 1.8 million this one is 2.6 million it carries 33 passengers that seems pretty good uh we've got two diesel ones here the electric one right there is 12 million power 3300 kilowatts tractive effort 260 kilonewtons 140k this one is 90k 170 kilonewtons and 800 this one is 235 actually 140, 260, 3,300. This one is quite a bit less for kilowatts. 140. So it's it's not as good. And then we got the multiple units over here. I quite like the multiple units. We've got the test train. And we got the ICE over here. This is a capacity of 126 people. Uh, it does cost us 62 million. It's not the cheapest. And you got the rail bus. That little tiny one right there. Um, hmm. Okay, we got we got the RE450 commuter train. It does 130k. It's electric. 99 people. That's a test train there. Which doesn't take people. This one here. I like the idea of running our entire system with these. I mean, yeah, we've got some pretty small stations, but I reckon it could probably still fit in. It does 280k. It's 62 million dollars to buy, whereas that one there is 13 million. Maybe we should start off a bit smaller, and we'll go with one of the, we'll go with a few of these. We will add six of these to the to the tracks to start with. All right, we'll put in six of these bad boys right here. There. That's $81 million right there that we've gone and spent. So we, we've gone and blown $100 million. I need to put a couple names on these trains a minute. We have Brempool, Deva2018, Edward Jasper, Yannick, Rytus Sepulis, and Scott M as our trains in here. But we also need to set up some tracks, uh, some courses, some lines. So what I'm thinking to start with... Our first line is going to be Grubingen Passenger Station, Ulm, Ingolstadt, Gredding, uh, round on to Nuremberg, back through Rohr Passenger, Ansbach, and Kralsheim over there. That's going to be the first one. Then we're going to go to new line, and this next line is going to go Heilbronn, and then on to Kralsheim, Ansbach, Rohr, Wurzburg, and you'll go on through this way to that one there, Mannheim Passenger Station over here. 
Big question is, do I jump on down to here or not? I don't think I will. We will go up through there. Since I'm passenger station to there. Then we will go new line. I want a straight line that's going to run from Frankfurt through Mannheim over to Stuttgart over here. And that's all it's going to do. It's going to run those three stations like that. Uh, then we will go new line. I've got a small loop that we created over here. So we're going to go Wurzburg. Wurzburg. Is it Wurzburg maybe? Um, Grabfeld, Fulda, Bad Orb. So it's going to just run around those four over there. I don't yet have anything running from here. I, I'm gonna. There is another line I'd like to do, which is going to go Nuremberg through Wasburg over here and then on down into Frankfurt there. So I've just got one sort of loop through there. The only station I'm not currently picking up at the moment is this one here. So we're going to go new line. We're going to go from Stuttgart to Mundelsheim into Heilbronn and I don't know if I should stop there or not. I don't really want to change direction just going into that station. I'm sort of looking at these. I'm wondering if I, maybe I should like go over to one of these stop, turn around and come back. Um, I mean, if I do that, I am just stopping and I'm coming back again. I'm thinking I want to go over to this one. And then into this one, and then back down to Stuttgart again. Like, it comes in over here. I've got a full crossover, a, a full complement of crossovers on there. And up here, we've got just your basic crossovers, so that shouldn't be a problem. I go in there, turn round, and then come back out over here, and the lights... Where have I put the lights? I've got a light coming... That's going to be a problem. I don't want a light there. The light has got to be this side of that uh, crossover point, hasn't it? Right, I've got to change the, the signal on that one at least. So we go over the here and we go into that one. And then that takes me back down here to Stuttgart. So we run between those. That's going to just give us a station running on that one. Uh, the line five is over here it goes to frankfurt and then i need to add the wurzburg station back into it so that it's picking that one up in the middle on each pass and it's gonna be the same with this one over here we want Mannheim, stuttgart and then back to Mannheim again and then it'll go up to Frankfurt so it runs the loop on there okay those are good is this one in here that I've got I've uh, made a mistake on a signal on here because I've got that crossover point which I'm going to be using to be able to get out of here so I don't want a signal on here that's going to end up being wrong. I don't want any signal there at all. So what I'm going to need to do instead is I want to go over here and I've got the signals. And I need to put the signal out on this side. I'm going to stop the train from coming in there. And I also want to stop the train from coming in there. So that I've got a train that goes up here. It turns round and it needs to come back out again. And that's going to keep that bit kind of open up for it. And then you have got a signal there. And you've got a signal up there. Yeah, that, well, we'll leave it like that. We'll, we'll try it like that. We'll see what that does. Might have a bit of problem with the train trying to turn round on that um, one track there. But I'm hoping that we don't. So we've got a series of tracks now running right the way through. Where is my... There's the train depot right in the middle. Now, in theory, I've got six trains. I've got six lines. I should be able to put a train per line. I'm going to send Brempel out first onto line one over here. I'm going to bring that one down here. I'm going to take a look at Brempel. 
This train is not excessively big. I like that. I do. And he's able to come out and start picking up passengers already. He's running around. I like this a lot. I'm, I'm already liking this a great deal. So the next thing that I want to do is vehicle manager. I need to go to you right here, Mr. Brempool. And I need to color you red. Like that, so that you match the color of the line that you're on. And that's what we will do. We will make sure that these are all covered. Access to local public transit. Right, wait a minute. I've already done it. alone isn't enough. It's crucial that the train stops are traveled to on a regular basis so that customers actually make use of the offer too. Okay, so just having the one train there that is able to access everything is not enough. Have trains with total capacity of at least 900 people in use and reach an average frequency of 120 seconds. Yeah, we're not even close at the moment, but that's because I haven't gone and put these out on the other line. So we've got Deva... Uh, no, I don't want to do it like that. We've got Deva 2018. You're going on to line two over here. Let's pop you out onto that line. Uh, then I've got Edward Jasper. You're going on to line three. Send you out over there. Let's send a couple of these out. Right, he is racing off over that way, and so is Edward Jasper. Now, Edward Jasper has got to wait for the other one to go through the signals. And this is going to be a slight problem to start with, is we've got no signals on the big gaps in between all of the stations and the crossover points. That's only going to be an issue for a short while. It's not going to be a major problem all the way through. We're heading to Mannheim's um, station at the moment, which is still... Mannheim, that one's over there going to race over this way so at the moment we've managed to sit we got we're straight out onto the right tracks all the way through and this this it this at least is a good start so you're going to go in there onto that station you're going to stop and you're going to pick up three people and then you're straight out on this side over here using this bit of track down through here. We've got the high-speed tracks all the way through. Not that we actually need the high-speed tracks, but we do have them. Okay, I'll let that one keep going there for a minute, and we're going to go and put in another couple of lines. So I've got Brempool down here. Brempool, Brempool, I, I, I just want to have a look at... 57 people on board already. There he goes. And he's got another 57 people on board. I've only got 57 people here. Capacity is 342 out of 900. Uh, I haven't got these other ones running on the lines yet. So we're going to put Yanak is going to go out to line 4. We're going to put Rytis Sepulis out onto line 5 over there. And Scott M is going to go out onto line 6. Now line 6 is the only one that I'm a little bit concerned about as far as um, not frequency. I'm a little bit concerned about line six for um, freeing up the path, whether or not that is actually going to work. Now, obviously, we do need to work quite a bit on getting signals all the way around, or we're going to end up with too many trains that are just going to be sat. So that's something that we can start adding in is more signals in between every single section all the way up through. You two have already got a problem. Deva 2018. Let's go and have a look. Right, so you are stuck there and you are stuck there. Right, don't worry about that. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea, if you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. 
This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.